I hope you're having a fantastic day or week. So, when you are watching this, it is likely the end of September and the beginning of October. And what we are doing today is we're looking at pumpkins. And these pumpkins that we are looking at are something kind of done by an artist named Romerto Berto. Uh, Romerto Berto is a Brazilian artist, which is far south on the globe, which south of North America, which is where we are at. And Romerto Berto is known for his pop art. His pop art being like taking pieces and having one pattern in one section and one in the other and having it be uh, alternating alternating so it feels a uh, got a nice homely feel to it and if you want to draw one of these pumpkins what you're gonna want to do is have one piece of paper and Crayola markers now if you don't got markers you can use color pencils but it's very preferable if you've got markers so to start you're going to use your black marker and I'll angle the camera down so you can watch. So first step is to draw a pear shape. The, well, something similar to a pear shape, more like a round uh, rectangle. And this is one piece of your pumpkin. Pumpkins, when they are round and big, that you're able to carve into them. They're very, like, they're very big. They're, hmm. there's not really a good way to explain it, but they're hollow that you can pat them. And that's why they're ideal to be carved into for jack-o'-lanterns and just having them for a Halloween aesthetic. Now, if once you've got this, you're going to draw a pair on each side and every time you do that, you're going to make your pumpkin bigger and bigger. You need at least five to seven of these round shapes. Now, once you've got all those round shapes, you'll go from the top. So around the second and third. So right here. And you're going to draw a stem, which is like a squashed rectangle. And... If you want to, you can draw a line down here, a line here, have a round shape here, and this creates your moon. Since the, since the pumpkin is going to be warm and toasty, everything in the background is going to be more at evening and at night. Now, let's see here. If you want to... You can radiate your lines from here and pull up. But otherwise, you can just make lines out like this. And this is going to give us an idea of what are we going to draw and how much of one pattern are we going to do. And if you feel like drawing this, you can have some nice vines, which are the just ways that pumpkins originally, when they're growing, they attach the things, are a flower, get pollinated, and become the big pumpkin that you see. So, for here, you can use all your warm colors. And, if you want to, you can use a couple of your neutral colors too. But for now, I'll just use my warm. And, there are multiple ways that you can work with this. You can take one color, if my red wants to work with me. <laughs> Take one color and you can just do straight lines and you don't have to color in the background or you can. The style of how you do this is up to you and that's one part. Now if you've got something like this, it'd be good to take another, like I'm going to use yellow. And make it solid next to it. It would make a nice contrast. And it will make it pop more. So I'll take this. Color it in. And now that it's all colored in. 
I can take a marker like this orange and I can draw like squiggly lines if I'd like to. And I'll draw a couple here. And now I'll draw a couple here. And what it's doing is it's creating like an alternating pattern. And because of this, I'm going to draw a little bit of lines just to give it more difference, to give it more of a whirly effect. And if that, if you don't want to do that, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, another way you can do it is you can take your colors, you can like block it off. So I'm going to color this darker brown and up here, I'm going to draw triangles. Each way that you do yours is up to you. And it gives you more or less an idea of like, oh, I could do this and it'll create this effect. And this, and for here, it turned more into rectangles. So I'll color this in and I'll leave this be for now. But if you would like to, you can have your neutral colors be anywhere on the paper. Just your warm has to be in the center and your cool has to be on the outside. And ways that it'll start to look once you're getting close to finishing is something like this. Where with this, I had colors overlapping. I mixed them up together a bit. Had purples and blues. Let me angle my camera up, so hi. So you'll be able to see it better. You can have uh, your grays and browns be like an accent color. And you can have some spots be white, but not all of it. Only some are allowed. So maybe two or three spots that you have white showing. Otherwise, make sure your colors are solid. And if you've got like something like this right here where it's circles and you have yellow against it to pop it out, that's completely fine. Each one's is going to be different, but make sure you go into it, get creative with your patterns and shapes, and have fun with it. Now, thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Bye!